I'm Christoph Leimer. I'm, I'm created this wind turbine. is a really it's, it's a 3D printed uh, object, 3D designed. It has uh, a lot of 3D design um, printed objects inside. Also, it's not a, um, a just a wind turbine. What is the behavior of uh, this um, protopasta magnetic PLA and one first project that I have done is, an, is a brushless electric motor which uses this material as a stator material, as a core for the copper windings. And starting from that, um, I was able to change the, the copper winding and just uh, produce a generator from that, like a, a motor and generator or like um, similar objects. One is consuming energy, the other is producing energy. But the physical construction is the same. Um, but I've rewound the motor with um, other copper wire because on a wind turbine, that's where I wanted to build it in, it should produce higher voltage already on low revolution speeds because I did want to avoid a gear transmission and just want to have it direct driven. So I've I've started initially with a motor that has this um, this core here. I don't know if it's visible. Yeah, I guess it should be. Uh, and I've added some copper wires. So I have the camera here as well. So so that's that's the core. Um, the, the first version of the core with a relative thick copper wire. But the problem here is um, it wasn't. Um, working well enough. So the efficiency could be good, but the result was that it was rotating too fast. And the problem if a motor is rotating too fast, a 3D printed motor, it could explode because of the centrifugal forces. So I've, um, I needed to have a core that has more copper wires, more turns, and maybe also a little bit larger. So I built the second version, which is uh, this one here. It has also more slots and it has um, um, a little bit of thinner wire which is potentially a problem because of the increased resistance. Um, yeah, but hopefully the more turns, or not hopefully, finally the more turns were really a good thing and it had at the end a really well efficiency. So maybe to show here this lamellas uh, or these um, slots, the core is printed with magnetic PLA from Protopasta. It helps a little bit to improve the performance, maybe 15%, that was my measurement. I've used my hobby equipment here to measure that, um, but still it's 15%, it's not nothing. The, the efficiency can potentially be improved when uh, there is more iron powder in this uh, material or other quality iron powder. So at this, for this material I think there is ma at maximum 30% of some magnetic iron powder inside and I assume there could be other materials which have more magnetic behavior or, or, or more magnetic than this one here. I have done a test print with a sintered core. <laughs> The problem with this sintered core is um, it's an electrical problem, so there are much more um, eddy currents which are decreasing the efficiency of the motor. And that's why in, in real electrical motors they usually, ha usually have lamellas or thin layers of um, metal stacked uh, in order to avoid these eddy currents. And the good thing about the 3D printed magnetic PLA is the material is not conducting, so there are no eddy currents. Because the, the plastic in between the metal particle is isolating the individual particles and therefore reducing these currents. For, for this core here, the problem is that uh, the wires at the end of the stator are floating around and you have to organize it somehow. And when wind, while the winding process is going on, it's, it's difficult to have that in your hand and turning around the stuff. So I have 3D printed a handle, um, which helps to, 
to the, the winding. So you simply push it inside. And there is a, a, another piece on the other hand, on the other side that you can also slide in. And a, little, a tiny little screw, or not a tiny little screw, it's also 3D printed this uh, screw. It has 1.5 millimeters pitch. And I think, oh, I've used the wrong handle, sorry for that. <laughs> Different versions. This the the one that I have just showed you has no threads inside. This one has threads. So I can now screw it together, and I have a tool which I can hold in hands and still do the wiring around that. For the 90 watt version of the motor, I improved the the the, the winding core a little bit, which should, should simplify the winding. This version with the toothed heads, so this, um, so there is a, the straight version with, with lines, which, which is difficult to wire, and therefore I needed the handle. Then I built another core which has special toothed heads, which allows to wind it without the need of um, having this, uh, this handle. So the tooth heads are guiding the cables properly. And I've done that for improving the the efficiency, not, not just the tooth heads, but also the, the core has a little bit different dimensions inside. It's not well visible here, but it has. And I did that because if, if you do a lot of turns, it requires, it, it makes it work simpler if you have these special tooth heads. And that's a point that was necessary for building a generator which creates, which produces a higher voltage already at lower rotation speeds. If a, if a machine is working as a motor or as a generator, if it's efficiently working as a motor, it can also efficiently work as a generator. So that's really symmetric. So, but the difference here is the rotation speeds. The motor which I've built here runs at 6,000 rotations per minute with only 8 volts and that's not realistic for, for example, for a, a low revolution generator that produces electricity enough at low RPM. So there is, there is, uh, the solution here is to have thinner but more turns um, for the stator. And this was possible to do with this uh, different um, winding core with, this, with the new stator. So this really helped to have also the possibility to have more turns because using the other version would really be a mess to have like 100 turns per slot. So that's, that's the key difference of the two uh, stator versions. It's, it's not because the generator has different requirements than the motor. Um, basically, they are not different. Just for my application, I was thinking I want to use it in a wind turbine, which has a lower resolution, a uh, lower rotation speed. Uh, for this reason, I needed to have a different options to do the winding. So let me show the wind turbine. So it's here next to me. Hopefully, it's. Let's fit on the screen. <laughs> so it's 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 a larger object. So the idea here for this object is definitely to to have it um, producing electricity, doing something useful. And for I have done a wind turbine or a windmill a while ago, which is just rotating in the wind. So the aerodynamics is basically I had resolved it but the thing which is not possible with my old windmill is it's too small to fit in a generator of this size here that, uh, which has the size of the of this uh, 3d printed motor or generator so I needed to increase the, the, the housing make it bigger also increase yeah, just make sure I have enough space to build in some useful electrical components.